Hey guys, how's it going? Good morning, Saturday morning, chilly, muddy. Perfect day to do some building and some mud, huh? <laughs> well, I have began the starting of the chick mahal. The new, their new chicken coop. I'm throwing the sheathing up now. That's, I mean, being 45 degrees this morning. Yeah, I know it won't hurt a chicken, but I don't know. Just something tells me, like I said before, that I'd like to know the fact that there is something a lot warmer. You know, I'm not sure. There, that, there again, that coop over there isn't a bad deal at all. It worked just fine for them, but. So, yeah, I've got this piece of sheathing up. And I'm about to work on putting this corner up. I'm basically going to save the end pieces that need to be cut for last. That way I just get as many sheets up, full sheets up as I can. And go from there. This is also going to be a part of the Lean 2, Ultimate Lean 2 shed build. Because obviously that's part of it. But yeah, so for you guys that are new, welcome. I'm glad you guys have um, decided to come check me out see um our channel and what it's all about yeah so that's basically what's going on today is just trying to get as much sheeting up as i can there's not supposed to be any rain in the forecast for a few days so i'm gonna try to get this all sheathed and hopefully painted hopefully but my my goal is is to at least get the, the, their new the chick mahal chicken coop finished that way those guys could be happy campers but um, I'm not going to bore you guys with watching me just put planks of wood up. This kind of gives me a little bit more um, inspiration, too, to get some pieces up to, to get on this. That's nice. It just fell right in the mud. What are you going to do? All right, guys. Well, I'm going to get off here, and now the dog wants to step on it. Riley, no. Riley, no. So um, it's getting there, the bottom half of the new chicken coop, a.k.a. Chick Mahal. I've got a couple of areas I've got to work on, obviously, like right here where there's no stud in the middle. I'm just going to um, put a couple tie, a few tie ins just for nailings. This ain't even a supporting wall. I mean, so it's not a big deal. Um, over there, I'll have to do the same. But it's getting to the point where the bottom half is almost um, enclosed and then. The fun part begins of because it's not perfectly eight feet, so it's you know four by eight sheet. The top ones are got to be cut down to size, but it's getting there. The chick mahal is underway, and I don't think it's looking too bad. This side here is the shed, and we start the chick mahal. Hopefully, the glare is not too bad for you guys. I apologize if it is, but on my end, I can. Glare is horrible. I gotta close this little opening up right here. And this is the side that I still gotta do up there. But it is coming along, fellas, ladies and gentlemen. Here is the side where their door is going to be. And I, actually, they're learning like this already if you look in there. But they're already in here hanging out. They've actually been inside the chicken coop part, hanging out, but I think they're realizing that here shortly they're gonna be closed in. I'm not sure how that's gonna work out, how the whole um, transitioning from that coop to this coop's gonna work out. I think they'll be fine, but the, here's the thing, is the ones, these guys here, they're the ones that live downstairs over there and the other group lives upstairs, which is Foghorn. And here lately, these guys over here have tried being upstairs with them. And I've let it, you know, I go to shut their coop door at night. Well, I hear old Foghorn going at them. So I'm going to have to, like, I guess monitor them. But the cool thing is, I'm, I'm really, really, really going to like, and I appreciate my son giving me this door because... I could literally just walk up here, you know, walk up here and look in the window, you know, to see what's going on, right? I mean, you know, come in here, 
get on the old fog horn if I have to, which I'm have a feeling I'm gonna have to. But yeah, see, here's our opening. I start to close in. You know, I'm getting really close, like the bell start building some nest boxes. It, it looks more bigger in here now. I've got it all walled off. It's looking a lot more bigger. I gotta put some hardware cloth still at the bottom, along the bottoms where they nothing hopefully could dig in to help from predators. Here, let me walk right through the wall here. Won't be able to do that here much longer. I like the design of it because see, like the bottom two by fours and that top piece, they're gonna stick out from the, the sheathing. I ended up going ahead and taking these off. Remember the, I used to have them going along the middles. Well, I took them off because I just had this envision of wanting to see the, I guess, what would you call it? The, the dimensional look of it. I like that. I like the dimensional look. I hope, I'm letting you know, let me know down in the comments below what you guys think of it. I think I'm gonna keep on pushing. I'm trying to push as much as I can, at least to get them guys settled into this new coop. Because like I say, it's gonna be new to them. I think they'll be fine in that aspect. It's just, I know Foghorn, he thinks he runs the show, which I guess in his, in his world, I guess he does kind of run the show. I'm excited to see how they, what they think about it for their first evening here inside of the building. I mean, obviously that ain't happening right now, but it's, it's coming, it's coming real soon. All right, so I've got it sheathed. Finally, have it all sheathed. It's actually starting to look like a shed. Still gotta cut the roof, yes. But everything is sheathed. Well, watch out puppy, watch out puppy. So I got a couple um, splices where I got put two um, some little two by four supports to get these to go flat up against the wall. So let's check out the inside. I got a little light hung up for now, so I can see out here. So it's going to be dark, probably in about half an hour. I still got to put seam tape up all around. You can see that light. Ruger, stop. Oh boy. I, I will, I'll admit though, these chickens have been hanging out in here. Not even really necessarily in there, this little area yet, obviously, because I think they're kind of scared to go in here, but they're gonna get trapped. So I got in here, there's no light, it's gonna be dark. So obviously you can see light at the bottom of the floors. This, this is the actual, actual coop part. I got seam tape up around here. It's looking like a shed slash, I don't know about looking like a coop yet, but what are you guys eating on? Go, you guys need to go. Go pups, go, go. I sort of fed you guys your food and you guys don't want to eat that, you guys will come out here and eat nasty stuff. Oh look, he just sees a cat over there. Can you see the cat over there? That cat, that cat does it to it on purpose, both of them. That cat's always messing with those dogs. And I'm hoping that chicken door, I was, um, I'm going to show you guys that I got a hold of for $40. Um, I'm hoping it does the trick. I got to cut them a couple windows open. And there's some hardware cloth from the old run. I mean, I've got all that. I'd like to use that obviously because that way at the same time I'll be I'd be taking that down. But yeah, I am definitely getting excited about it. And I'm trying to think in my mind where I want this, where I want that. Because this is gonna make a lot of room inside my barn now. Even more room than what obviously before. A couple of you guys have asked. I've I, I mean I'm waiting for it to come, but what has happened to Misty? Well, we have parted ways. There's Things have just changed, and maybe with the both of us, it wasn't with me at first. I I'm man enough to admit it. At first, I didn't want it, but I think I think now that um, it's happened, and I've been without her, I think I'm starting to see that this is how the way I think it should be. Oh, yeah, someone asked me a particular question. 
yes, I loved her very, 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 very much. I miss what we had. I want to delete the past videos with her in it. I'm still debating on it, but she was, she was great. She was great while it lasted. She really was. I mean, she, I thought we made a great team. She said the same thing. Come on, pop. Let's take a seat. So yeah, so I'm a single daddy again. They're looking for a new mama, and I'm looking for a new baby girl. Nah, no, just kidding, not really, not right now. Well, Pop, should we just put hardware cloth down and forget about the pavers? What do you think? So yeah, I'm, I'm debating on changing my name altogether and just starting over again. But I think she felt like she could do better, which that's usually how it starts, right? Whoever's been down this road before knows that's usually how it starts. Is they thought they could do better and realized they couldn't. Which I know she's doing her thing, so to speak, right now, but everything catches up to you. This is what this is what really sucks too is cutting this stuff. It's like you get cross-eyed between all these little half-inch squares. But now I feel like I lost the best friend as well. You know, you kind of think back after the, after the fact and it's like, hmm. Kind of makes sense now. Well, that's where I'm at with things right at the moment. I'm by, I'm by no means a perfect individual. Not at all. I mean, actually, I could be quite the, uh, quite the, quite the asshole. Don't try to be, but I am. I can be. But I know I was good to her. She said I was. But then again, she said a lot of things too that I found out wasn't true. If your significant other is telling you how much they love you and with words, but you heard their actions are showing different, chances are there's something going on. If you've been with the person long enough, where all of a sudden they do a 180 on you, chances are. It might not be my situation, but either the other person might be thinking or something. And I would say try to talk to them. That would be my advice. But who am I to give advice? Because I tried talking to mine. And what I realized... She wasn't wanting to talk about it, even when she was here before she left. Before I, before I actually, before I evicted her, I had to evict her because she was acting so off. My, you know, when, like I said, when your gut feeling feels something, just, just go with your gut. I'm telling you, don't go with your heart. Go with your gut. It's really not that difficult. People just make it difficult. Some people are just cowards. They don't want to be alone, so they don't want to tell the other person. Now, hey, this is going on with me right now. Sorry, don't love you no more, not happy no more, whatever the case might be. Ah, uh, this stuff right here, let's tell you what, this kills my damn back. Yeah, that should work out pretty good doing it like that, don't you think? Uh, at least I'll probably tell a predator, hey, you're not coming in here without a fight. But yeah, hey, anyway, well, I used to always call her my, um, my right-hand man. Because that girl, I'll tell you what, I had to give her that. She was always out here. I didn't ask her. But she enjoy, I could tell she enjoyed it. You know, she enjoyed coming out and learning how to build. And I taught her a lot. I taught her a lot. So, but hey, everybody deserves to be happy. If, if she ends up being happy... That's all that matters. Everybody has their own life, and ultimately, God has a plan for you. Like I'm, I'm like right after this happened, I was blessed. Let's just say here, hopefully soon, I'll be um, concreting and insulating the actual barn, and that'll be great for winter winter builds and content. So I'm not freezing out there. So there's always usually a positive that comes out of a negative. It's kind of odd how it works, but it's her life. 
She deserves whatever she has coming to her. If it's karma, which a lot of times it is, she'll get karma. If it's something else, God feels like she deserves something better, then she'll get something better. By the way, if you haven't noticed, I am a God-fearing man. I believe in God all the way. If you guys don't like that, I'm sorry. I'm very blessed, even though the things that have came and happened. But I've also have a lot to be thankful. Have a lot to be thankful for. So if there's anybody out there going through, kind of like what I'm going through, it's gonna be all right. I promise. It's gonna be all right. But yeah, she she left quite a bit behind. But maybe she felt like that stuff really didn't matter to her. That's the thing about this hardware claw too, is it's hard to keep it straight and not bend on you and look like crap. Alright, let's see if I can't throw a couple yard staples in here. I normally need more screws than that, but I'm just trying to get it started. Yeah, I think that by the time I throw dirt back over top of this and everything, I think it'll, it'll be pretty good. She was the love of my life too, guys, so... I mean, unless you guys were having a lot of problems prior to when things went sour, went bad, then more than likely, you guys are saying the same thing, you know, well, that's the, you know, that was the love of my life. But yeah, I'm not trying to talk negative, it's just I'm, I'm trying to clear up everything, because... You know, after everybody asks you so many times, you, know, you get to ask so, so many times what's going on, what's going on. I figured I'd get it out of the way now, so, you know, it's, it's a big, big lifestyle change. I thrive single, if not more than in, in, a, in a relationship, so. And to see how this is starting to get all crooked on me, that's why I didn't want it. I'm gonna have to probably get a hold of some more dirt somehow. I'm not gonna go around the whole barn, but I'm gonna go around the coop and inside the wall. That way their whole coop is secure. Anyway, I'm gonna get on the rest of this. I'm sure you guys don't wanna see. I'm sure you guys don't wanna see me do all this. But I will get back with you guys when I'm finished. See you guys in just a second. Alright guys. I had to go in and throw a little beanie in because they get into my head a little, my bald head a little bit. <laughs> but I've got the, the hardware cloth all the way down. So I got pretty much for now the coop like ends like right here along this screw line. And I got going past and I'm about to go on the inside and do it. Uh, I'm gonna have to gather as much dirt as I can, probably from over there at their old run. To get these guys. Uh, these, these are the babies, the newest guys. I'm, I, I figured out names for Cheeky Call. I think it's, I think it's cute. On there, I'm gonna throw some more pavers like I've got underneath there too. But this part's gonna be fun because as you see right here, there is a big tree root. I remember there was a tree. There's part of another tree. It's, it was part of a huge tree that was here. That's why it made it so difficult to um, put those posts in the ground. But we figured it out. So the fortress is locked down for them. Like if anything gets in here, whatever. But as long as it can't get in there, that's my main concern. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm just going to put these those paper blocks. I've got them all lined up underneath the, the wall there. And that should do it. It'll work for at least for now, because I still gotta cut their, their door open and build nest boxes, put some perches up, and pretty much be ready to move them in. I still gotta get the outside painted because it's supposed to rain tomorrow. I have just this funny feeling I'm not gonna get it done in, you know in time before it rains. I was really hoping so, but 
that's all right. The kids are supposed to come over here and help me paint, but because it's, I mean, it's not like there's a lot of like, you know, outlining or anything like that. Basically, just paint it all one color, and I'm going to buy some one by fours for trim, like I talked about. This is for the overall whole outside of the, the shed, lean to shed. I'm willing to bet these guys got so stressed out that, like, I got eggs this morning. But they're probably so stressed out that I probably didn't get a single one to, um, so far today, I mean, which I don't blame them. Their whole, with the, everything they know is coming down. Oh no, I'm, I'm wrong. I guess if you gotta go, you gotta go, I guess. <laughs> yeah, one, two, three, four, four, five, there's five of them. Like I said, people's asked. I figured I'd just kill it all in one video so I got to talk about it anymore. But yeah, she was great at the start. I mean, for most, like, I'd say three quarters of our relationship. I mean, she was great. But I couldn't have asked for a better, I couldn't have asked for a better partner. But you find yourself in a confusion, like, what do I really want? And then you find yourself, like, even more miserable and unhappy. But yeah, when you have one person such as myself, that won't deal with it. No one deserves to have that happen to them. It's just, it's the coward, like I said, it's the coward way out for the other person to do that. But there again, you know, when this happens, when something like this happens, you can't listen to what that person who did the wrong says because chances are they're lying. I mean, that's just what they do. They lie to justify their actions. They lie to make it look like, oh, the reason was because of this. Kind of like amusing, fascinating, how, you know, us as human beings could sit there and come up with the most funniest like excuses. They believe, I, I really truly believe, they believe their, their excuses. They believe their own crap. I mean, they believe their own excuses. They believe their own lies. I mean, it's because they, they're dying inside. They're dying to let their mind and heart know that what they did was okay. You know, and that's why she came back and tried to, you know, work things out or whatever you want to call it and I mean, as much I could love someone to death, just like, I mean, kind of, she was my world, I'm not going to front. I'm like, I don't care, I know i got to get out there and take down the dangling hardware cloth and hardware wire, whatever you want to call it. That way they don't get hurt, but at the same time I'm also going to get to their new coop and get them a chicken door up. There's no way I'm going to beat, the, beat the, the time before it rains them all and have all this done. But at least most of the rest of it, except for the painting, at least that most of the rest of it is inside the new coop and the shed. Anyway guys, I'll see you guys on the next video. I hope you guys um, didn't mind me answering the other people's questions. If you guys didn't care, I apologize. Hopefully you guys took something from it anyway. I'm hoping you guys are liking the build. Give it a thumbs up if you don't mind, if you guys didn't mind the video. And maybe even subscribe if you guys want to see future vids. So anyway, peace out guys.